if you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will fill the space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill compares to nothing. Yeah, this their life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. All right, how we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Professor Slabs here. You just tuned into another episode of Slab Life Fishing. Well, I'm going to try anyway. We ain't got Mama Slabs out here today. I came out to do a little spur of the moment fishing with me and my son. And we shooting a video this evening where we was planning to anyway. So, Mama, I got you. Um, but this little pond I just found, me and my son, just found this little pond where we fishing at right now. And I started catching fish. And how I started catching them, I decided to ask him if he felt like filming for me and seeing if he can get a couple of these fish on camera for you guys because I'm catching them in a small little pocket. I can't believe how small the pocket is while I'm catching these fish, but it's actually working for me, okay? So what I want you guys to do is stay tuned and get ready for some down bobbers, ladies and gentlemen. We got CJ on the camera today, so y'all bear with my boy. Hopefully he get at y'all a nice video because the fish are biting. Slide like baby, we out here just with a red worm, bobber, and I told you guys how to fish shallow under the tree. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to fish deep under a tree because the pond I'm at is very deep. And we catch some very nice bluegills, okay? So stay tuned. Slap life, baby. Slap life. It's the little pocket one fishing in where I just found, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see, I'm only limited to this one little zone right here. But every time this barber gets out there in the little zone, I'm catching them, okay? So I'm going to let CJ sit back and film for you guys, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and cast out there. You see how deep I am under that barber, very deep. I'm just pitching it right out there. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. And look, look, look. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Just pitching it out there. Whoa, he came off. We're gonna catch him. Uh. You guys getting the picture that's what we got here doing now i'm gonna show you guys me and my son got on flip flops today so y'all might be seeing me flip and fall a little bit but it's all right okay now i'm barely just tipping this hook with a little piece of worm and i'm gonna pitch it back out here you ready <clears throat> let's pitch it I'm just pitching, just like that, ladies and gentlemen. And look, I'm already getting a bite. Look, I got it. Look at that. That's all we doing. Now, I'm finna tell you guys what's going on. These fish are not bedding right now, ladies and gentlemen. They are not in spawn. They are resorting to the shade. Okay, me and my son walked around this pond. It wasn't no fish spots. We went to one of our old spots and I remember this pond from back in the day. I have caught fish out of here before, but it had to be over 10 years ago, okay? So I decided to come back today and try it. But when I got here, it had all grown up real bad. It was nowhere to fish. So I got and got discouraged a little bit. And as we get ready to leave, some said, walk behind this tree line real quick. And I walked, and somebody done made a nice little opening right here. So excuse me, I'm in your uh, home right now, but I will leave it. This is how you got it, okay? But these fish are resulting to the shade. That's what's going on. This worm falling right in their face. They're like, why not? Mm. Or they scouting his own out for a potential nesting area. So y'all stay tuned for that this summer too. Slap like, baby, let's go and drop another worm by here. Oh, we got a big bass right here in front of us. Let me see the camera. See if you guys can see that right there. Right in front of me down there. Big bass. Hopefully you guys got to see that. Give it back to the cameraman. Here we go, y'all. We're getting ready to pitch on out there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And we're out. Oh, I'm getting a bite already. 
getting a bite. And there it goes. This is a nice one. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't I can't tell you guys how fun this is what we doing right now. Huh? Slap like baby, y'all stay tuned for some more fish. Let me get him on off. Get me another bait on there, and I'm finna toss back out there. Slap like baby, y'all stay tuned. That's all we doing, ladies and gentlemen, just tipping that hook just like that. Now let's get on back out here. I'm looking at a big blue gear right in front of me. They on top of the water right now, ladies and gentlemen. They on top of the water. Hopefully you guys can see that. But there are some big ones. Ooh, there's some big ones down there. Let's pitch back out there. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I just looked down in there. There's hundreds of them down there, ladies and gentlemen. I would not lie to you. I just got to bite fish. Okay, this ain't one of them big ones I'm seeing, but that's a decent female brim right there. They are ready, y'all. Look at the belly on that fish. Whoa! I'm going to let it go, but I want to let it go way out there. I don't want to spook the fish that I got right here in front of me. Now, we're going to put the same bait out there. I'm just going to tip that one, the tip of that hook back, and we're going to pitch it right back out there. Just like that. Nothing hard about it at all. I just seen one hit it on the way down. That's a nice one. This is a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The old picture rule, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. These some mans out here. Look at that. Look at that girth. Look at down at that bucket, son, and showing what we working with. Don't show them too much, ladies. Come back up here. They, they, they being nosy. Touch your nose, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Slap like, baby. We got my baby boy out here on the camera today. Y'all give my son a shout out. If y'all enjoying this video so far, y'all say, CJ, good job, buddy. Look at the girth on that fish. Yes, indeed. Y'all know where he go. Look. Oh, uh, hello. Slap like, baby. Let me go. I'll put the same bit out there again. Say I won't. Let's do it. Same bait. They're a little hungry out there right now. Same bait, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, I just seen another big, huge bass. Man, any given cast, ladies and gentlemen, I might be hooking a big bass out here. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's some big fish down there sitting in this little hole right here. Bait's on the way down. I just seen it get ate. Something just ate it already. See? Oh, I missed him, though. That's the first time I'm missing. I'm putting the same bait back out there. The water's so clear, ladies and gentlemen, I'm watching the bait as it falls. And I'm seeing as they get as it gets eaten. Like there's a bluegill going towards it now, and he got it. He got it, and I got him. And I got him, ladies and gentlemen. And I got him. I'm looking at him. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Whoa! Do y'all see that bluegill, ladies and gentlemen? Look at this. Look at this fish. Whoa. They swallowing the hook. Look at that. Hook all down his throat right now, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get him on button. Get me a couple pictures, and we finna get right back out there, okay? Slap life, baby. Me and my son episode. Y'all stay tuned. Maybe a little greedy down there. We back in action. Oh, there's a the bite is in. I got him. It's a big one too. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Very nice fish. Oh yeah. Look at the beauty on there. This is a brim too. This is a sheep brim. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't she gorgeous? Look at the colors. Look at the orange going down in there. She is gorgeous and a nice one too. As you guys can see, look at the girth on that chest. Look at that. I'm starting to have fun now, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Mama Slabs. CJ taking your job. CJ taking your job, Mama Slabs. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm having so much fun right now. I wish y'all could see the adrenaline going through my arms right now, ladies and gentlemen. Go on and show them why, ladies and gentlemen. That's why. Oh, that's why. Y'all see them fishes down there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's a slab life, baby.
You are know that. Let's pitch out here again. Come on. Uh oh. Almost messed up then. Uh oh. Okay, I got it untangled. I thought we was messed up this damn lazy guy. Now, this is not my first time doing this, ladies and gentlemen. I've oh, got a bite. Nice fish too. I've been pitching in little holes like this right here since I was a kid. You understand me? It is the funnest way to catch these big old bluegills. Okay? Y'all understand what I'm saying? One of the best ways to catch them. Pitching under the tree. Especially when you got your little cane pole. But when you stuck with just a reel, that'll work too. Now, let me tell you something. Only thing that goes wrong when you're fishing under these trees. Look at that bluegill. These some nice fish, man. Look at that. Only thing that goes wrong when you're fishing under the tree is, or in a little hole like this, you get tangled up a little bit every now and then. You get snagged on the branches and things like that. But if you're catching 10, 15 fish in between each snag, who's going to complain? You guys see me get snagged one time and it wasn't bad. I got it out. Okay? So don't let it stop your trip. Get out there and catch some fish, ladies and gentlemen. You understand what I'm saying? Let's pitch it out here again. Same bait. You guys see, I ain't switching the bait or nothing. They're hungry. These are feeding zones. Anytime you're near bush, look, I'm already got a fish on there. They're just that hungry. Yeah, I missed him. They're hungry, ladies and gentlemen. It's no joke. They are hungry. Now, look, I'm not even going to fix it or nothing. I'm going to just pitch it back out there. I'm going to let you guys see the barber go down. You see, it just got bit. I can hook now. I don't, see, there he goes down. There he goes. There I go. Look at this. Oh, this is the big one I was seeing down there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I want a little piece of bait. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. My job is to catch y'all some fish. And I ain't talking about just no fish. I'm talking about some gym dandies. Monsters. Straight monsters. Straight monsters. These are some quality, quality fish. Look at that. Look at that girl. Y'all see my face right now? Man, I'm starting to have too much fun. Man, I don't think y'all understand, ladies and gentlemen. I bet you understand now. Look at that. I bet you understand now, don't y'all? Yes, sir. Y'all stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with y'all. Slap like, baby! <laughs> y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna fix this worm on here. We finna pitch on back. I'm seeing them down there. It is literally a lot of them. They gotta be probably scouting or they're using this for shade, but it's a lot of bluegills sitting down there. Look at there. This is a big one. Oh, yeah. I couldn't even turn them around just then. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I just let them take their time. Take their time. Put them on up. Just like that. Look at that. Another big boy. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you see it. Nothing but the old pitcheroo. There's barely any bait on there right now. And I'm going to pitch that little bait out there. Now, I'm showing you guys what I mean by tipping it back. Make sure the tip of that hook is covered. I can leave it sloppy just like that. And let's watch. They're not picky eaters. When they're hungry, ladies and gentlemen, they will eat. Trust me when I tell you that. See? See how the bobby running? He on there. I got him. Look at that. Look at that. And he swallowed it. Look at that. Same little piece of bait. Same piece of bait. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. When when you find a conjugation this deep or this big, I hate that she swallowed that hook because she's small. I don't want to hurt her, but she might be hurt. Straight again. Look. Same little nibble. Let's pitch it back out there. When they hungry, they hungry. When they feeding, they feeding. And I think that's what I'm catching right now, feeding fish, because not, I haven't had one fertilize on me yet. And that's what uh, looks like when they're peeing. That lets you know that they're on the uh, spawn. Haven't had one do that. So these fish are in here probably simply feeding up, getting ready for the spawning season. Look at that bobber. Look at that bobber. I got him. This is a nice one, too.
Y'all got to thank CJ for giving y'all that good view. I'm hung up right now, but it's okay. Look, that's just a good reason to get this branch out the way. I clean up as I go, ladies and gentlemen. He hooked pretty good. He ain't going nowhere. Okay. Now he's off here. Now I can get my fish on. But you see how deep I'm fishing under this barber, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that. That's there, a bit of five, six feet right there, right off the edge, four foot. Look at that. It's deep out there, but the water's so clear, I can see them swimming. It's another nice one right there. I think he get invited to dinner. I know you guys be like, Professor Slabs, you keep so much fish. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish I could eat them all. Man, I got the cameraman that's shooting for y'all right now. My little son, CJ, he eat four or five of them by himself. Then his little brother, he eating four or five. My daughter eating three or four. My my wife, Mama Slabs, eat three or four. I'll eat three or four. I got my grandparents who run me down faithfully for some fish. Shouts out to my beautiful grandma, Yvonne Stewart. She eat every bluegill I catch. Y'all understand that? I had come from a brim eating family. My grandma eats so much fish, she fry fish every Friday faithfully. So when Friday come, y'all can guarantee Grandma Slabs, Miss Yvonne Stewart, is eating some fish. And you best believe that. Slab life, baby. Let's go on and get some more out here and get Grandma some more. Yes, sir. Grandma, if you watch it, baby, I got some brims on the way. Go on and show her, Grandma CJ, what she got coming. Yes, sir. Slab life, baby. Let's go on and pitch this barber back out here. Uh-oh. Almost got caught up at the end. I caught it. Got a little breeze that's came through. That felt so good. And you guys see, I'm not going far at all. Right here. And I think I just already had a bite. Look, yeah, it's one on there now. It's one on there now. Look at that barber. See the barber, y'all? He on there. But if I keep on letting him go with it, he swallow that hook. Now, it's barely anything on there. Let's see how hungry they are. Let's see if some eat that. Look, already. I got him, too. Best. Now, that barely had any bait on it. Why did he eat that? Look at that fish. And it is nice fish. These ain't no little fish. These are nice fish. Look at the girth. Look at that orange girth. Ain't that pretty, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that. He eating that little piece of nothing. Now we'll let this one go. Even though he was a keeper, I like to be nice sometimes. I'm going to tip it back with, that, with, that, with the tip of that hook not showing. Okay, I'm going to save y'all some worms, man. Look at that. Let's drop him back down now. Back. Already, already got a bite, and I got it. This is nice. Now this is a keeper here. Oh yeah, you better believe that. Look at 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 that. Man, Mama Slabs ain't gonna understand how I came and did it like that. Right now she be saying something like, "Slab nabbit, he done done it again." And right now, all I think I can say is, slab nab it, I done done it again. Slab like, baby, I know y'all enjoying this here. Especially when they coming up out of here like this here. Oh, he just got fish water all in my mouth. <laughs> it happens. He think that's funny. You think that's funny, huh, CJ? Look at that. Oh, no. Stay tuned. It lost me a nice one, ladies and gentlemen, but we ain't gonna cry about it. We gonna pitch back out there and get a nugget. Look at that barber. He on there now, I can hook him now. Oh yeah, and this is a nice one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. This is brutal. This is brutal. Right under the tree, in the shade. Look at that. I'm tired of tasting y'all fish water now. Calm down. Look at that chest. Oh, yes, indeed. He kind of far down in there, too. I'm enjoying this, man. This pond has been hidden now from the public for a few years based on how the vegetation has grown up. I fished it about 10 years ago 
and um, I can tell it's probably been about that long since it's been fished real good, except when somebody made this little hole here because the vegetation is full grown. As you can see, these pepper trees and stuff are really big. They weren't even sprouts when I was coming out here. They used to keep it mowed down, but um, Mother Nature will take over, but it ain't stopped the fish, as you guys can see. You can get in a little hole like this right here, catch you some fish. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Look at that. Look at that. Man, this is fun. This is fun. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. These ain't no little fish, ladies and gentlemen. These some nice fish. Nice fish. These the perfect size to eat right here. I don't like those great huge ones. I like them just like this. I like them just like this. Shouts out to my boy that got the show out there on YouTube. He's also a subscriber of mine. I subscribe to him. Love his show. And he goes by the name of Hand Size Pan Size. Yes, sir. Uh, hand Size Pan Size. You know who you are, brother. Say them ain't the best kind. Hand size, pan size, tell them in the comments, man. Them the best kind to eat. When they big as your hand, they ready for the golden brown oil in a super black pan. Cast iron, please. Slap like, baby. Let's pitch back out here and catch some more. You think I'm done? I ain't done. Look at that already. Look at that. 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 Another little sheep broom. What was that? Well, like a hybrid. Look at the pretty colors on there. I'm thinking that's a hybrid there, ladies and gentlemen. She got a little shell cracker in her. That's one thing I ain't never caught in this pond. It's a shell cracker. I'm pretty sure they're present. Just saying, I've never caught one. I'm going to try the same little piece of bait again. How about that? But there got to be some in here because that one definitely looked like a hybrid. She didn't have the regular brim coloration. She had a little bit more. She had those green and blue dots around her cheek. Those usually are hybrids. Look at that bottle. He didn't take it, but he sure hit it. Let's flip it back out. Look at that. I got it in that time. This is a, nah, this is a nice fish here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. She brown. Nice one. Nice fish right there. Look at that barber go. It's another nice one. <gasps> he got off. That was a big one. I even seen him when he came up. Oh, man. That was a big, big bluegill right there. That was a big bluegill right there. Let's see if another one comes and bite. That was a big bluegill. Oh, we're getting a bite. I got him. I got him. He ain't quite as big as that first one was, but he's a nice one, though. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big pop a pop. Ooh, woo. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I think y'all understand. Look at that. Look at the girth on that fish. I'm having too much fun. Look at that. Look at that. That's all from right here in front of this little tree. Look, my son putting y'all back out there. My, hey, my boy saying, get that barber back out there and get some more of this action. And that's what I'm doing. Y'all watch that barber because it's going to go. Got nothing yet. Sometimes I give it a little twitch like that right there. That's the trigger one. There it goes. I got him too. Look at that. Look at that. He's a little smaller out the bunch. So what we're going to do is we're going to let him go. 
I got a tree branch right here that is getting on my nerves. Let's get this out of the way now. See, I don't come out here and just break up all the limbs and stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I come out here and break up what I need just to get out of the way and everything else can stay. I don't come out here and just tear up everything like that. All I need is enough room to cast, hook a fish, and bring him in. That's all the room I need. Anything else is extra. Okay? Yeah. Same little piece. Look at that barber. Look at that barber, y'all. He running with it now. Stuck him. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that. Ooh, wee. Boy, CJ getting y'all some real good camera shots. I could tell. Y'all, I, I can pretty sure y'all just seen that brim call him out of the water and come all the way up in y'all face. That's my boy doing that. Mama slaps. I think somebody done took your job. All right, let's get her back out there. Uh oh, on the tree line. Here we go, we got it out. See, I don't panic, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of times when you panic, that's when you get it hooked in that tree real bad, and then you can't get it out at all. Then you just all messed up. But I am tangled right now. See how I just took my time. Now that one right there, obviously, is kind of strong with a limb. So I'm going to grab the whole thing when it gets in my way like that. And I'll pull it. And break off whatever keeps grabbing a hold of it. And I did want to walk up to that water and spook them. Because they see me, they might not want to bite. But... I think we pretty much got it done pretty fast, so. Let's go on the pitch back out now. Here we go. Look at that bite. Oh, I missed him. There we go. I got him though. Now he done got me down there and got wrapped around a limb. I got him out. Got him out. I think we're gonna let this one go too. Long. Same little piece of worm again. We ain't changing it until they make us. Starting to get caught up in every little piece of everything now. Hey, we're gonna get it back out there. There's a bite. Oh, this is a nice fish. It's one of the males. Oh, yeah. That's one of them nice males right there. That's what we have. Now he'll get invited for dinner, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we're looking for. Them bull, bull, bulls. Nice fish. We're working on a mess now, ladies and gentlemen. We're starting to tear them up. And you seen I have not went anywhere. Right under this little piece of tree right here. I'm talking about this pocket so small. You can even probably fit two fishing poles in here at a time. Like if I came out here with somebody else to fish with, 
they would have to walk on down the path somewhere. There ain't no room right here. That goes to show you, it don't you don't need that much space to catch fish. Okay. Barber done got twisted up here a little bit. There we go. I'm thinking I'm still gonna keep that same little piece of bait on there. I think that barber got twisted again. There it goes. Okay. They starting to catch on now a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. They slowing down on the bike. Now, remember I told you guys I wasn't changing the bait till they made me. Now, that's what I mean by making me when they just won't bite it no more. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get me a red worm, a whole red worm, and I'm going to put him on here. Okay. Slide like baby. CJ, how old are you? Nine. You're nine years old? Mm hmm And you already understand the concept of grabbing the camera and filming, huh? Mm-hmm. That's pretty good, son. I'm proud of you. I'm pretty sure all the Slab Life fans out there proud of you too, son. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is all I'm using. So you guys can see. It's regular float. Okay. I got one split shot on here because when you fish in clear water, you want it to sink as slow as possible and look naturally floating. I mean sinking in a natural speed because these bluegill are very smart. Okay. Eagle claw hook and bait. That's all we did today, ladies and gentlemen. Simple. Simple but very effective, okay? You guys, if you have any ponds or lakes or anything in your area and you don't fish them just because there's hardly nowhere to fish, ladies and gentlemen, you see somebody took it upon themselves to come in here and open up this little small hole. All it takes is a machete, a pole saw, or something like that right there, maybe a little weed eater to get some of these weeds down, okay? That's all it takes. And as you guys can see, you're liable to open up a hole and open up a hole of your dreams. You never know. Okay? So I want you guys to do is always try new things, ladies and gentlemen. Those bull bluegill are everywhere where you have some water at. Guaranteed, if there's a baby in there, mama and daddy's there. And if mama and daddy's there, grandma's there. And if grandma's there, you got uncles, aunties, and everything else that got different generations in there. Okay? Believe that. Love y'all, man. I want to see y'all catch some fish, and I want to see y'all fishing more. Okay? Now, I ain't going to talk your head off. That's all I wanted to let y'all know. That was a public service announcement coming from Professor Slabs. Slap like, baby. Let's pitch it on back out here. Nice oh, oh, that's a nice brim right there. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Out here, fishing in a little small hole and catching nice bluegill, nice brim. I got, oh, sorry about that. Hope you guys enjoy the content that my son brought to you guys today. Mama Slabs wasn't able to make this trip today. She's at home. She wanted to tidy up around the house a little bit today. Can't get complain about that. You never complain about that. The king could never complain about the kingdom being groomed. Okay? 
But CJ came out here and saved you guys a day. He seems like he did very well. I watched a couple of clips. CJ like he's a uh, original, man. He caught on. All I told him was a couple little things, and he took it upon himself to get a couple other little things in there. Okay? CJ did excellent. I want you guys to give him a shout-out in the comment section if you can. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys don't remember anything, I want you to remember this. If you have to ask, you are not living. And if you're not living, you're not fishing. Slide life, baby. It's a lifestyle that I present and bring a lifetime of memories. And you can take that to the bank, ladies and gentlemen, where me and my son currently at. Slide life, baby. I love every last one of you guys. God bless every last one of you guys. Till the next time, the professor is checking out. If you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if nothing's in your bucket, the beer scenery will fill the space. When the bar goes down with tugging, this thrill compares to nothing. Yeah, this that life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. Slab life, baby. Slab life, baby. Slab nabbit, he done done it again.